Good morning, today's lesson is 4.3. Today we're gonna to interpret the remainder. So our essential question is, how can you use remainders in division problems? So yesterday we learned what a remainder is, and today we're gonna to learn how to interpret them. Let's unlock the problem. Magna has some leftover wallpaper, 73 inches long. She wants to cut it into eight pieces to use around the photo in her scrapbook. Each piece will have equal length. How long will each piece be? When you solve the division problem with a remainder, the way you interpret the remainder depends on the situation and the question. So one way is you can write the remainder as a fraction. The divisor is, and in this case the divisor is eight pieces, and then 73 inches is our dividend. So when I divide, 8 into 73, I get 9, because 8 times 9 is 72, and I've got 1 left over, right? Well, that remainder represents 1 inch that's left over, which can also be divided into 8 equal parts and written as a fraction. So the remainder is 1, and the divisor, look, are my divisors right there, is 8. So it can be interpreted as 1 eighth. So now when I write my quotient or my answer with the remainder written as a fraction, it would be 9, because that was my, my um, how many I can divide it into equally, and 1 eighth left over. So 9 and 1 eighth. So each piece is going to be 9 and 1 eighth inch long. So try this. Daniel made 32 ounces of soup for five people. How many ounces will each person get? Complete the division. Well, five can go into 32. Let's see. Five times six is 30. Five times seven is 35. So it's gonna have to be six. It's gonna go in six times. And since it's 30, I get two left over. And I can interpret that remainder by saying I have two, and my divisor goes on the bottom, fifths. So each person is gonna get six and two fifth ounces. Other ways, well, you can use only the quotient. For example, Ben is a tour guide at a glass blowing studio. He can take no more than seven people at a time on a tour. If 80 people want to see the glass blowing demonstration, how many groups of seven people will Ben show around? So first I'm gonna divide to find the quotient and the remainder. Then I'm gonna decide how to use the quotient and the remainder. So my quotient is 11, because they've already divided it. So seven um, going into 80. So seven times 11 is 77. So my quotient is 11. And if I subtract 77 from 80, I get three. So where my remainder is three. So Ben can give tours to seven people at a time, and the quotient is the number of tour groups that have the exact number of seven that he can show around. So that's going to be 11. So Ben give tours, gives tours to 11 groups of seven people. Now, it doesn't say this in the problem, but we're gonna continue on to find out what do we do with the remainder of the three. Well, if you add one to the quotient, then those three people can go on the next tour. There won't be seven in that group. There'll just be three, right? So if Ben gives tours to all 80 people, how many tours will he be given? A tour can have no more than seven people. So to show all 80 people, Ben will have to give one more tour. So that means instead of giving 11 tours, he's going to give 12. In 11 of those tours, there's going to be seven people. But in that last one, there's going to be those three remainders, right? So you can also use only the remainder. Ben gives tours to all 80 people. After he completes the tours for groups of seven people, how many people are going to be in his last tour? Well, we already said it, the remainder is three. So his last tour is gonna have three people. Try this. Students are driven to soccer games in vans. Each van holds nine students. How many vans are going to be needed for 31 students? So if I divide 31 divided by nine, well, nine, so 31 divided by nine. Uh, nine times three is 27, and nine times four is 36. 36 is too big, so we're gonna go with a three. When I subtract nine, um, or when I multiply nine times three, I get 27, 
I subtract, I can't, I have to regroup here. So now I have 11 from seven, which is four. So I'm gonna have three vans with nine people and I'm gonna have a remainder of four kids left over. So 31 divided by nine is three with a remainder of four. Since there are four students that are left over, I can't just take three vans, right? Um, I'm going to have to take four vans because those four kids, we can't leave them out in the cold. We still have to take them, right? So that means three of our vans will have nine students. And then one of our vans, the fourth van, is going to have the leftover four students. All right, share and show. Olivia baked 53 mini muffin, mini loaves of banana bread to be sliced for snacks at a craft fair. She will place an equal number of loaves in six different locations. How many loaves will be at each location? So first we have to divide to find the quotient and the remainder. So six goes into 53. So I have to think my multiplication facts. Um, six times five is 30. Well, that's too small. Six times six is 36. That's too small. We could try to jump up to six times nine, but that's 54. So that's gonna be too big. So we're gonna have to go six times eight. And six times eight is 48. And when I subtract that, I'm gonna oh, have to borrow, regroup there. So I'm gonna end up with five. So I'm gonna have eight with a remainder of five. Now I have to interpret how to do this though. So do I buy another loaf? No, not with this, because this is something we can eat. So we can we can take this five and we can make a fraction out of it since it's something that we can eat it, it's not like a person, right? Like the before when we had the car, it's not like you could leave part of a person behind. Um, that's why we had to get another car. But on this one, it's just a loaf, so we can actually slice it into a fraction. So my answer would be eight, and if I'm interpreting this remainder, I use my dividend, so I have five left over, that's my, my pieces, of my six. So the answer is gonna be eight and five six loaves. Now this next question says to interpret the remainder to solve. So on number two, they're saying, well, what if Olivia wants to put only whole loaves at each occasion? How many loaves will be there? Well, if she's only putting whole loaves, um, well, there's only eight whole loaves, but on that five, six, you'd have to add a loaf, right? So you would actually be doing nine loaves if you wanted them to be whole loaves. So she would have to bake another loaf or only give the eight loaves away, okay? Since she only baked 53, she would only give away eight of the loaves because she can't give this one away as a whole. Um, I'm going to have you do the rest of these on your own, but I want you to think about it when you're interpreting whether you're going to do a whole number or whether you're going to do a fraction. So this one says Ed carves 22 small wooden animals to sell at the craft fair. He displays them in rolls with four minimum in a row. How many animals will be in equal rows? So here, they don't want you to interpret it as a fraction because they wanna know how many are in equal rows, right? Um, this one says, Myra had 17 foot roll of crepe paper to make eight streamers to decorate for a party. How long will each streamer be if she rolls them into equal pieces? Well, with streamers, I can easily cut them, right? This one, they wanted whole animals, but I can cut a streamer. So this one can have a fraction. Um, this one right here, if you watch the math on the spot, it will help you with this one, okay? All right, so you're gonna do these on your own. Uh, you're also gonna do number four, uh, number six as well. So you're gonna do three, four, five, and number six. All right, good luck, and I will be on the carpet if you need me.